welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout outs all my fellow spooky spoonies. And I also really love to play with makeup. So today it's Vlogween what? It is Vlogween day 21. I'm actually pre-recording this a bit ahead of time because the day you're watching this, I'm actually having a heart cath as well as some like electrophysiology testing. They're testing to see if I need a new defibrillator or an ablation and the balloon and some arteries. It's a whole thing. I'll be in the hospital for probably a day or two. If you want to leave some <laughs> happy, kind, healing words, feel free to do so in the comments. I know I'll love reading those and always appreciate the the good vibes, but today we're gonna play with some makeup. I'm really, really excited. So I got two different things we're trying out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use them together. So the first I wanna show you, I'm so excited to have gotten this. Batty Bean X Shroud Hallow Bean Palette. I'm super, super excited. I did get her um, It's Freaking Bats palette last year, and it's so good. Was that last year or was that the year before? I can't remember when that was. I feel like it was last year, but it could have been the year before, who knows? But I mean, you can kind of see, um, you know, I've definitely used this palette a good bit. I really, really like it. I love the color story of it. And the way she did her Hello Bean palette is to have it kind of be something you can use standalone for sure, but also it works really well with the colors in the It's Freaking Bats look. I'll try not to blind you. Ooh. And this one, she said she really wanted it to be like grungy Halloween. Look these colors I'm so excited because so you have some like nice really really bright like very Halloween-esque colors and you have some couple really really pretty shimmers but I love these like darker colors as well so I'm really really excited so here is both the palettes together you can see how the, a lot of the colors can really go well together like the two the green and then the green and the orange with a bit of the chartreuse and I think there's just some really, really fun looks you can make with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one on my arm and then I'll come back and show you how everything looks. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna say, it, it, there's a lot of like <laughs> kickback in the pan. So these are very, very soft, which is good. It means they're gonna be pretty blendable. Just be careful, be mindful of that. You know, if you do get this palette, these are super pigmented. I'm so excited. So we have Ghastly, it's like a deep, kind of dark, dark purplish black. Then we have Afterlife, which is this gorgeous like copper shimmer. I love this. Crypt, which kind of chartreuse, but a little bit more like mustardy chartreuse. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. We have Woodsboro, really, really lovely bright orange shimmer. Then It's Showtime. Oh my gosh, this green. It's such a nice like, kind of like a grungier green. It's not like bright, but it's still gives you those Beetlejuice vibes, you know? This is Black Flame. Oh my gosh, look the shift in this. It's like brownish black, but with a really, really gorgeous purple shift. Oh my gosh. Then Loser's Club, which is a nice matte, deep, like, not quite coppery orange, just like almost pumpkin-y, but like a deep burnt orange kind of, I would say that. And then we have Ghoulish. It's not showing up too much, but it's very, very like light, shimmery, this white with like a green reflect to it. That's really pretty. I think that'll be a nice like topper shade. And then we have Wicked, which is really, really pretty dark green, almost like, I don't know, grungy, swampy, dark green. Oh my, look, just look at this color story. It's, oh, it's like all the fall happiness. Honestly, I really want to try the Black Flame shade because that's so pretty. Maybe I'll do like an orangey brown. I think we're gonna go for it. Okay, let me wipe off my hands and then uh, let's just get to playing with this. Let me move you in a little bit so we can... There you go. My, my skin in all its lovely glory. Okay, I'm gonna use the uh, Gerard Cosmetics uh, Clean Cut Canvas in Fair. Kind of blend that in. By the way, you guys, if it's your first time here or if you've been here a while and you haven't subscribed, I would so love it if you would. I, at least at the time of filming, I'm like less than 60 away from 2,000 subscribers and I would really, really love to hit 2,000 before like the end of the Halloween season at least. That would be really cool. Also, I'm having surgery today, so I'm gonna guilt you into it now. <laughs> 
If you haven't and you've been here a while, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you at least will get notified. Hit the bell. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload. Okie dokie, so I'm using the same brushes that I used whenever I did my ColourPop review. I will leave a link to that in the description as well as up in the cards as if you didn't get to see it. The Michaela Pat 2 set and then there's a Lunar Beauty brush as, as well as a Blinged brushes, like shader brush. So I just like these, they, they fit really well. Uh, they're my favorite brushes, they're my go-to. So that's what, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna use today. So I'm gonna use um, a bit of a smaller dome brush. I think I'm gonna go in with Crypt actually. Um, so it's the kind of like mustardy shade. I think I'm gonna use that in the crease to kind of start building it up. Definitely a grungy shade. It's giving me very <laughs> 90s vibes. By the way, I am not a uh, professional. I'm not, you know, makeup professional or anything. I just love makeup, I love playing with it. So if I'm doing anything wrong or not like proper or whatever, just disregard, just a gal who's playing around with some makeup, you know? Just having fun today. I not trying to be perfect with it. I'm trying to show you guys if I can do this, you can totally do this. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just like, let's let's try this. Let's see if it works. I like that. I think that's a fun base. Next, I'm going to go into, let's do like super fall is here. So I'm going into Losers Club just a little bit on another slightly bigger, fluffier dome brush. And we're going to go... Whoa, this is pigmented. Just kind of right over that other one and a little bit more onto the lid. And then bring it ever so slightly underneath the eye. Oh, that's a fun combination. All right, and then we're going to do, I think I'm gonna use a bit of a packer brush. And we're gonna go into, I think I'm gonna go for the dark purple like plummy black purple ghastly just a tiny 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 bit i'm gonna try and like just lightly put it right the outer third maybe not even outer third and i'm, I'm trying to hold the brush right, right at the very very end of it so it's like lightly and then a tiny tiny bit underneath and again i have Quitted eyes as well as very deep set eyes. So I'm kind of just having to do stuff what works for my eye shape. I mean, I've completely redone my brow shape over the last like couple months because I was like, I my brows normally come down like right where this orange is. <laughs> so I've had to like, half of my brow is just completely drawn on. <laughs> so I've had to like try and figure out a way so I can actually use eyeshadows and be able to see them, you know? All right, I'm gonna go back with that very, very first brush no extra product on it and just kind of go around the edges to kind of help blend and buff it out. Make it a really nice, smooth, hopefully not harsh <laughs> edges. It's probably the part I'm like least successful at, but how is everybody's October going? We're so close to Halloween, y'all, like a little over a week away. It's crazy that it's this close. I feel like I haven't done enough for it. It's like here, but I'm like, where did the time go? I was waiting all summer for it. And now I'm like, wait, come back. I need, I need more time, but I'm enjoying it so far. I, I want to say, I'm definitely sorry. I haven't done as much many videos um, for vlogging that I expected. If you've been watching me, uh, I'm going to go on a little bit of NYX glitter glue and like a liner brush and just go all over the lid. But if you've been following me on Instagram, you kind of know I've been having a lot of issues with um, my RA. Let's zoom in a little bit closer even. So I'm kind of going all the way up into like that crease and then, then just covering like the inner two thirds of the lid, if that makes sense. But yeah, so like I said, I've been following me on Instagram. So I've been having a pretty hard time with my RA, like we've been, we wanted to switch meds and my doctors told me like in September, yeah, just go ahead and let us know when you get back from all your trips because we were going to Chicago and Detroit and we wanted to like wait until, you know, I was back from traveling to try anything new. And so as soon as I got back, I was like, hey, I'm here. And then it didn't hear anything for a full week. And then I called, like I called twice during that time. So the third time I called was that next Monday. I was like, hey, I'm back. I'm waiting to hear from the team as far as like switching meds. Because I was like, I told them, I was like, it's two weeks enough time to switch meds because I only have two weeks worth left of my old injection. 
And they're like, yeah, yeah, we should be able to get insurance approval and all of that in time. Needless to say, here we are. Um, we tried one med. They tried twice and insurance just kept denying it because I hadn't tried enough of the other lower tier meds. You know how that crap is. So I'm basically, I haven't had any injections since September 23rd. It's the first week or so after I was doing okay. It's been really, really rough. A lot of pain. I think I'm going to do the Woodsboro Shimmer Orange on the inner corner and we'll do Black Flame on like the middle to outer. So I'll start with Woodsboro. See, this one is super, super soft. This is the one that like crumbles so, so easily. Oh, but look at it. <laughs> Holy crap. But yeah, like I said, I haven't, so I haven't had any, any meds in my system since September 23rd and my joints are just definitely very, very angry <laughs> and it's been a hard time. Like I'm trying to push through and do stuff, but it, I, I was before I was definitely struggling with fatigue even before, you know, going off my med, but it's even more so now because now it's like, not only do I have just regular fatigue, but I have, my body is so exhausted trying to deal with all the pain that doing anything else is like a lot. So like I don't go out much, which I did much before anyway, but, and it's just getting harder and harder to do stuff even around the house. Like I've been cooking less and less, which is why like, I feel so bad. I wanted to do several cooking videos during Loggoween. Like I literally have, I think four different ones scheduled on my little calendar, I wrote out what I was gonna do for each of the days and it just, it hasn't happened. All right, other side of the brush, I'm gonna go into Black Flame Candle right here. It just hasn't happened. And because I've honestly just been cooking less at home um, cause I don't have the energy to. It's frustrating. <laughs> very, very soft, oh no. Oh no. So it's definitely dropping a little on the all on the cheek so be super super careful with this one but yes yeah, so i'm sorry i know I, I told you guys i was gonna do you know quite a few cooking videos and i planned on it um i just stuff like this i can do i can at least sit down it's not super physical to do these kind of videos so that helps this looks interesting All right, i'm just going my finger on each of one um just kind of to help blend the two colors together is what i like to do kind of mishmash between them. All right, so the purple kind of took over. Oh Lord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> A mess. Yeah, so I kind of just wanted to like let you guys know what was up with that, why I wasn't doing those as much as I thought I would or said I would. Just it's been really, really hard. We've been door dashing so much, so many meals because I just don't have it in me to cook lately. It's been really, it's been difficult, which sucks because I, I really love cooking, like love cooking. Oh my gosh, I've dropped so much on my face. So I will say be super, super careful. I love this shade. Um, I think it's really fun and different. I do think it's uh, very, very crumbly. Both of the sh these two shimmers at least are. Again, I think it's just because it's pretty, pretty soft, softly pressed. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna do a little bit of just a dash of Crip together and Loser's Club, dabbing them together on this brush just to kind of get a blend of them both and just go right underneath the eye. But anyway, <laughs> how's everyone else out there doing? How are you guys? Like everybody hanging in? I know the cooler weather is great. I'm enjoying it, but it's like, it's been rough on my body. So I hope everybody out there's been doing okay. And if you're not a chronic illness person, Tell me what you're doing. Let me live vicariously through you. Tell me like what fun, like, good lord, look. Look at all the shimmer all over my face. I look like a hot mess. Let me know what fun pumpkin patches or haunted houses or cool things you guys are, are going to. I would love to live vicariously through you guys for this. Y'all, I look crazy pants. I love the palette. I think maybe I'm just, I'm not at the skill level yet. What I wanna do, I have these, uh. The ColourPop um, Jelly Mutt Shadows that we got from the ColourPop Pocus Pocus 2 collection. I have the, which one was this one? Shishka Baby, so Mary's. 
that coppery orange one. I've been really wanting to try these out more since Winifred's was so cool on that look. And Mary's is this like beautiful, is it gonna show up? Beautiful copper. So I think it's a little bit more red orange than the stuff I have on, but we're going for it. Definitely making it brighter, so that's kind of cool. And honestly, what I think I'm gonna do for my highlighter, because I didn't put on a highlighter yet, I think I'm gonna put on Ghoulish. It's this like, you know, really, really white with a green tint to it. Betty Jean, who is the gal that made these. She's Butte Bean. She was showing on her videos. She's been using this a lot as her highlighter. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> and it's another like green tinted highlighter, which is amazing because you guys saw on like the ColourPop one, theirs was a bit green tinted. And I was like, this is like the fourth one I have because I can't get enough. So this is the fifth one I have. <laughs> Lord, I messed this look all up. I was gonna try and film another video after this. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this look not so crazy pants. Yeah, what are you guys up to? Tell me all the good things. I need to hear some good things. Cause I bet you, you guys are up to some fun things. Okay, for liners, one thing I'm gonna try, I got the full set of these things from Kaleidos. These are their new um, Epiphany Glow Melt On Eyeliner. And they're all like super, super metallic eyeliners. The boxes will kind of show you what colors they do. I'll, I'll swatch all of them on my hand. Uh, there are six in the set. So I'm gonna pick one out and we'll use it for this look. But let me swatch them real quick for you guys. So let me show you what we got. Here are the liners. So I'm gonna go from this way to this way. <laughs> so the first one we have, that light blue, is Sea Sparkle. The green one is seven C's. You can see on some of these, like there's a bit of a shift. The light is not really picking up, but some of these are like duochrome -esque. So they change as they move. Uh, Solaris is this kind of like orangey reddish one, but it goes a little kind of brown in certain lights. These are so metallic. This is really, really cool. The green one is limelight, makes sense. Very limey. The purple, night of creation. And then that orange is tourmaline. These are so, so metallic. These are gorgeous. So I'm thinking for my eye, I kind of want to do that purple one. I shouldn't do this for the waterline. And then I'll probably do like a black liner just for here. Actually, let me see if it'll go over it. If it will, that'd be super cool. Ooh, that is cool looking. It's not showing up as much on here, but it is super, super metallic in person. Okay, so I think on the top part, it doesn't really show up as much. I tried to do a little bit of like a wing with this. It's definitely, I don't know, I don't think it works well over shadows. I think if you're doing it by itself and you're doing like just like a graphic liner look, it'd be really cool. But I like these so far. Um, I am gonna go and just do some liner using just my NYX um, Epic Ink Liner. And then I'll do a little bit of the white Epic Ink Liner in, on the inner corners right there. Okay, so there's the liner and everything. Um, for the lips, I have several options I gave myself. Um, I am using, I'm gonna use Kaleido's lips. These are their lip clays. They have four different of the kits. This, I just brought down one. I have all of them. I love their lip clays. For me, it is super, super comfortable. It stays really well. It dries down matte, but it doesn't feel like stiff or like cakey. You know, sometimes they can dry down and it feels very dry. This is, stays very, very comfortable. I love it. This I think is probably, if you're looking for like a darker aesthetic one, the darker kit, it is the one that has Queen of the Night, which is like kind of a black. There's Rubio, which is a bit of a more, a deep blood red. It's gorgeous. There's also Scorpion Fruit, which is like a, like a reddish black, it's lovely too. All of these are just absolutely amazing. And then there's Fiamma, so, which is kind of like a brighter red. These 
these are my favorites. And then I also brought down a blue because I wasn't sure if I was going to do like a green look or what. So since I do something kind of orangey black, I think I'm going to do, I don't want to do a black lip. I feel like I always do a black lip. It's always my go-to. I think I'm going to do scorpion fruit because it's, it's fairly black, but it's also a bit plummy. So maybe that'll bring out the purple. So let me just put this on. I have to say, if you guys have never used this before, any of their lip clays, oh my gosh, I highly, highly recommend. Like I said, they're so, so comfortable. When you're applying it, you're gonna feel like it literally glides on. Not like a gloss, but just like, just like creaminess. I don't even know how to explain it. It's so amazing, really, really comfortable. Again, these are my go-to. If, even if I want to do another brand shade, sometimes I will kind of layer them together to get like the comfort of this, um, but then make my own shade kind of too. I love doing that. I love mixing shades of lipsticks. Here's what it is. You can kind of see, not the best application, but it's like a little bit of a dark purple. I think there's glitter in it because it was on my finger. It's like a really, really deep purple. I love it. Okay, so... <laughs> I know I messed up my face. This is all me, but I think this is the look. Let me give you a close up of the eye look where we are. I think it's really fun. It's, you know, very dark fall look. The orange, and I love the purple liner with it. I think it looks really cool too. I'm pleased with this. Again, I do recommend this palette. I will say, if you get it, be super careful with the shimmers. They are very, very soft. Um, which just means they're going to blend together really well, but you just got to be careful because, especially if you're like me, you're going to turn out with like black and orange dots all over your face. But I know a lot of people actually will go and do their eye look first and then they do all their foundation and everything, which is probably good because then you can get around issues like this. I just have never done that. I've always done the base and then I've done the eyes, but maybe for a palette like this, I think I would try going backwards. I don't know. Maybe just a thought. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was something different, something fun. I really love doing all these makeup videos. I know I'm not the best, but you know, Cole just wants to play around sometimes, have some fun, look a little crazy. <laughs> it's all good. Halloween palette, I will link this and I will also link Kaleido's stuff down in the description below in case you guys are interested. I paid with this all my own money, so it's not sponsored or gifted or anything. I just love makeup and I love sharing, especially spooky oriented one from like, like small creators, small business owners. I'll link Batty Beans YouTube down below as well. So check her out. She's really fun. She's amazing with makeup. Like that's how I've learned how to like hold some of the brushes and stuff is from her. So um, definitely check her out if you're wanting just like tips on makeup and just really cool, she has fun combinations of colors. That's the only reason like I get really confident to be like, let me put green next to purple or whatever, like things that could get really muddy. I'm just, I've learned little tips and tricks from her um, as well as Allie Dawson. I mean, if you like makeup too, check her out. She's not a spooky person, um, but she's really, really good at makeup and she's fun and quirky and like, she's a nerdy gal too. So I think she's, she's really fun. Um, I'll, I'll put them down in the description as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I do try to do at least two videos a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. And also, if you haven't subscribed, help me get to 2,000 subscribers so you know what to do. I do also have a Patreon in case you guys are interested in supporting the channel further. Link will be in the description if you want to check that out and all the different tiers. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Again, whether you're one of my patrons, whether you're a subscriber, or whether you're someone that just dropped in to watch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.